chose Dakota State University for a couple different reasons. One, I knew I wanted to stay close to home and DSU is certainly close to my hometown. And two, I wanted to make an impact right away on the program. If I would have gone to a bigger school, I would have potentially had to wait a couple of years to do this. And I knew at DSU I could come right in and have an impact on things. And three, I saw the thing, like the way Dakota State was rising and progressing and I really wanted to be a part of this. A couple of years ago, the Lady T's basketball program didn't have very good seasons, but with the new coaches coming in, I really saw the potential for growth and I wanted to be a part of this. Why I chose to go to Dakota State University, it gave me a chance to keep playing baseball, which was my dream as a child, and uh, they have a really good education program, so it was kind of a win-win situation. Mainly for softball, but then I also knew I wanted a small town and a small school and just kind of stumbled upon it. It was in the middle of nowhere, so I decided to go there. Out of most of the schools that I was going to, this one had probably the best state of community within the actual town. I chose Dakota State because it's close to home and also the teaching program was excellent that I heard. Being from Madison, I have the same people that followed my high school career that are able to follow my college career. I see these people at games, I see them in the community, and they're so supportive and so loving, and it's just really nice to have this fan support. Uh, what is it like being an athlete so close to my hometown? Well, my hometown is like 30 minutes away, so it's kind of cool, so the family's still involved, and if I need to do laundry desperately, I can still go home and do it, but uh, I mean, for the most part, I still spend my time here, so I don't really see the family too much, but it is super nice having them close by, and friends and such like it, because we go over and have a family dinner team there. Being an athlete, out of my original state, it's intense and very different than what it would be here. In Arizona, the competition is completely elite. I played with girls that are now in Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Virginia. So being back there, I was in the bottom of everything. And then coming here, it's nice to feel wanted and like a good softball player. So that's probably different, just the whole collegiate level of it, of where you stand. It's a lot different. Arizona is definitely a lot warmer than it is here. So, um, but like I said, the, the sports teams have a lot of programs to help people get, you know, connected with everyone in town and stuff. Uh, it gives me a way to like pursue my dreams and pursue what I want to do and with family being close, if I need to see them, like I can drive there but they also are in a way to come to almost every game. One of the biggest takeaways from playing with athletes out of state is they're so surprised by the support they get from the community. When they go like around town and people are start asking them about their games and their schedule and how things are going, they're really surprised by this and at first they think it's kind of weird because they don't usually get this support from their hometown, especially if they're from a bigger city. But here at DSU, that's something that's really evident in the support from the community and it's really nice to see. What is my biggest takeaway from playing with athletes out of state? Uh, probably the biggest thing is, because I moved around a lot when I was little, so I went from South Dakota to California, South Dakota to California, back and forth. So I kind of already had like the diversity growing up and uh, I'm easy to fit in with everyone and everyone's super cool and we're all just dudes on a team. We're all just brothers and I don't know, that's something that's part of our culture and it's just something really amazing about the Dakota State. The biggest takeaway from playing with girls who are from out of state is I feel like it's a different and mutual respect. We're all going through the same thing of not being around our families, we're in a completely different area. Not that you don't have respect for people that are from here, but it's just different. We're all going through a whole different change and we don't have our families to go to very quick. So just mainly different respect and then you kind of just learn that people have gone through different things in their softball career. So their different skill levels and all that stuff is very different, but yet the same. Probably all the diversity. I met a lot of people and spent a lot more time with people from different states than you know, I ever have before. I think it's pretty cool, honestly, that we get to play with people that are from out of state because you're not used to like seeing other athletes from like Alaska or from like California and like you all intermix and you all become friends and stuff and I think that's kind of cool. 
One thing I learned from being a student athlete at Dakota State University is how to be a leader. I was a leader on my high school teams, but now even more, there's more people looking to you by example and they listen to what you have to say. And it took me a little bit to realize the impact that my actions had and my words had. And I'm still learning how to do this, but it's been something that I think will really have a good impact when I leave Dakota State and just learning how to do things the right way both on the court and off the court as well. What have I learned from being a student athlete at Dakota State University is it takes a lot of sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice people don't realize. Uh, from 5.30 weights to tests the next day that you really have to be really good with your time management and uh, you have to battle through soreness and like mental pain. Like There is no off days. And I learned that uh, this will help me out in my future and make me more mentally stable and strong. I've learned that being a student athlete here is a lot of work, but at the same time you compare yourself to what it would have been like at a D1 or even just like a D3, D2 college. But being here, it's a lot of work, but yet when you're a student athlete here, you have the one-on-ones with your professor and they know your name, so when you're out traveling, you can email them quick and say, hey, I won't be back until then and they'll help you out. So I think. Being here, I've learned that like take advantage of the people around you in a good way, like utilize your resources. The main thing that I've learned is that students, student athletes can come in any different size and and they like any different things. So, you know, cybersecurity majors, business majors, physical education, they come in any shape and size. What I've learned from being a student athlete is that being a student is first before an athlete. So like when uh, Coach Wienhoff would be sitting us down, she'd be like, okay, we're gonna work on grades before we work on going to practice. And then, so she like really emphasized on that. But usually in high school, more, more people are like in two different sports. So they're just, they're just like used to uh, being busy all the time. One personal challenge that I face being a student athlete at Dakota State University is the minimal amount of free time you get. A lot of people don't realize how busy athletes are. We have lifting, practice, sometimes study tables, just so many different things that we have to do. And you really have to learn how to t use your time wisely and work on your time management skills so that when you do get free time you use it wisely. Some personal challenges I face being a student athlete is uh, that's definitely sleep deprived a lot. <laughs> um, sometimes nutrition is kind of hard to keep up with, sometimes you just got to go with fast food and uh, I don't know, um, studying and stuff like that, school is kind of stressful but at the end of the day I get to play sports and that's not something granted for everyone that makes it all worth it. Some challenges I face being a student athlete here would probably be time management. You kind of have to adult very quick being a student athlete because it's a whole different level of accountability you put on yourself. You have to wake up, be on time, get all your schoolwork in because if you don't, you're not going to play. So mainly just knowing that I have to grow up and I have to get my stuff together, I have to time manage and get to class on time. And I think that's just hard to do, just being young. Definitely uh, time management, that's one of the biggest ones. You gotta make sure you do homework every single day or else you, know, you don't have time before practice or after practice, stuff like that. Injuries are a big deal, <laughs> those can get you. But other than that, it's just like, drown yourself with people that you know. One way that I stay on track with both basketball and track, physically and mentally, is using this free time wisely. Uh, it's really important that I focus on spending time with family, spending time with friends, and relaxing because sports, especially college sports, they really ask a lot out of you, both physically and mentally. And so when you do get this free time, it's important that you use it to relax, kind of just calm down and take yourself away from both the academics and the athletics part of your life so that when you are in the classroom or you are at practice that you can really give all your energy and all your focus to what you're doing at that time. How do I stay on track physically and mentally with school and sports? Um, well I do a lot of like 
I spend a lot of time with my girlfriend, I spend a lot of time with the team, I spend a lot of time with my coaches, I make sure I'm talking to everyone, I make sure that everyone else is mentally okay with me and I feel like that helps me out a lot. And uh, like I said, we have study tables and such and that helps me stay focused in the classroom and it gives me opportunities to just keep up with uh, the stressful lifestyle. Kind of cheesy, but to stay on track with my sport and schoolwork, mentally, I make sure I have my planner 24-7 and I write down all my practices and my schoolwork. I feel like that helps keep myself on track. And then physically, kind of you just kind of push through a lot of stuff, but I think it's kind of the basics. Like you gotta take time for yourself. If you have to stretch out, if you have to roll out, if you have to go see the trainers, like it's making sure that you continually take care of yourself and make sure you're feeling good physically and mentally. Probably get a lot of sleep as much as possible and just do your homework little by little. Don't let it don't let it build up. Physically I have like a checklist. I write everything what I'm gonna do during the day, like write out the times that are going on and mentally I just try to stay focused and keep uh, my head strong. One well, thing I love about playing basketball on track at Dakota State University is how close you get to your teammates. You go through so many hardships together and it really brings you closer together and being able to experience all these things makes you have a different bond with someone that you couldn't get any other way. You're so far away from your family for many people and so then you're forced to kind of form a bond. You have new sisters, you have your coaches kind of become like your parents because they're so close to you and you're kind of going to them for advice and help and I just really love this aspect and it's really great then to see this bond forming and how that can help things on the court as well. When you're playing with a group that you consider your family, things get a lot easier and you don't really care who score or who made the pass or what just happened because it's easier to forgive them then for their mistakes. What do I remember the most about playing the sport I love at Dakota State University? Um, pretty much just all the bonds I've made. Like I've made some lifetime friends that couldn't even come close to anything I made in high school and like I know one day when I get married, I have some best mans out there that are willing to be there for me. Tell the end, pretty much, and we still keep in touch even if they graduate, and I know I'm still gonna keep in touch with some guys after I graduate. And it's just, I don't know, some amazing bonds I made, and then, of course, there's always the stories, so, good time. What I remember most, and what I'll probably remember for the rest of my life, playing the sport, playing softball here at Dakota State, is the people and the coaches because there's been so many moments when it's like you make a play or you make a hit or even just the off the field moments that you'll always cherish and remember those for a lifetime and especially now I have a great group of friends and I have great coaches that I feel I'll remember for a long time. Probably the relationships, a lot of the guys on the team, I'll, I'll probably know them for the rest of my life. They're a lot of great guys. Other than little things at practice, I remember last year how we went to conference play and we got to be into this, uh, or the, we got second at the conference tournament and played Viterbo. And I remember beating Viterbo at home and Bellevue, who were two ranked teams.